Okay, guys, um, we're going to talk today about percents that are greater than 100% and percents that are less than 1%. I touched on it a little bit the other day with our notes, with one of those problems that we were looking at where it was, um, I think it was, I don't remember, it was one that was larger than 100%. But um, so first on the top of page 373 is where we're going to start. This is lesson three um, in chapter five. And it talks at, at the top um, about, it says there are 220,000 species of plants on earth. Of those, 590 are carnivorous. Plants such as a Venus flytrap, catch their prey as food, what percent of the plant species are um, carnivorous? I'm not saying that. Oh. Anyway, so express the fraction of species in simplest form. So we have, it was 590. So we've got 590 out of 220,000. And then um, they're asking us to simplify that. And if you're going from 220,000 to 22,000, you're dividing by 10. And if they divided that <clears throat> 590 by 10, then that would give us 59. And so it says you're going to express your answer to number one as a decimal rounded to the nearest thousand thousandth. Use division to determine your answer. And so we're going to take our simplified answer, right? And we're going to have to divide 22,000 into 59. Um, yuck, right? Okay. So we know that that's not going to go into 59. We know it's not going to go into 590. We know it's not going to go into 5,900. So it's going to have to go into 59,000. And that would go twice, which would be 44,000. And then we're going to subtract. <clears throat> That's going to be 0, 0, 0, 5, and 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then you've got... 22,000, it's not, you're going to have to annex a zero and bring it down, going into 150,000. And that's going to go six times, which is 132,000. And then you would subtract and you would get, that would be a 10, that would be a 4, that would be 18,000 left over. But they want us to around it to the nearest thousands place. So do we need to keep dividing? Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. No, so we can stop right there, can't we? And so our answer would end up being because you have um, 26 ten thousandths, then that six is five or more, so that it rounds up to three. So it says, express your answer to um, exercise two as a fraction. So to write that as a fraction, we would have three over 1,000. And then this one, says since three tenths equals 30 percent <clears throat> excuse me and three hundredths equals three percent what percent is equal to three thousandths so here you went from three tenths and you go two places right that would give you your 30 percent and then when you had the three hundredths two places to the right, multiplying by 100, you get 3%. So then if you had <clears throat> the three thousandths and you move it over two places, then you would have three tenths of a percent. And that's a very, 
that's a percent that's less than one percent and so what percent of the plant species um, that would be our answer would be three tenths of a percent okay going to the next page page 374 on page 374 at the top um, it talks to us here about uh, percents greater than a hundred percent or less than one can be expressed as decimals or as fractions to show equal parts of the same whole so we're going to look through these examples <clears throat> so we've got um, express two tenths of a percent as a decimal and a fraction in simplest form. So the first thing we were gonna do is we've gotta get rid of that percent sign, right? And so you're moving it two places to the left because you're dividing by 100 and there is your decimal, okay? Um, and then of course, once you have your decimal, you can write your fraction because you just write your fraction the way you read it. Number two, you've got 170%. So you do 170 over 100, because that's how we write our percents. And then when you divide, you would have one and 70 hundredths, or one and seven tenths. And as your um, decimal, it would be one and seven tenths, just the way, it's, the way it's read correctly. So let's do some of these practice problems together, A, B, and C. And we've got um, we've got twenty five hundredths percent, okay. And so we can write that as a a decimal, and then as a mixed number or a fraction in simplest form. So I'm going to start out with, and we had to go two places to the left, right? So that would be one, two, and then the 25 like that. And then we would have, write that as a fraction. And so that would be 25 over tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, over 10,000, okay. And then we know both of those are divisible by 25. And that would give us one over 400. So as our decimal, we would have that. As our fraction in simplest form, we would have one 400th. So the 300%, that would just be Three hundred, right? Over one hundred, right? That's three hundred percent. And you would just divide, and your answer would be three. Three would be your decimal, and that's your fraction or your whole number as well. And five hundred thirty. Be five hundred thirty over one hundred. That would be five and thirty hundredths, which would be five and three tenths because you would divide by 10 to get that. So we would have, um, oh, our decimal, I forgot the decimal. So that'd be, yeah, five and three tenths would be our decimal and our mixed, our mixed number would be five and three tenths. Okay, now moving on down, uh, we've got Jimmy's uh, savings increased by 250%. Express 250% as a mixed number in simplest form and as a decimal. And so that's what we were just doing. We were writing in as a fraction with a denominator of a 100, and then we were simplifying it to get the two and a half. And, and then, um, you know, two and five tenths or two and fifty hundredths, you know, two, this would be two and five tenths, okay? Uh, or this is also the decimal form of two and a half. So 
Let's apply that to this one, to D. It says the stock price for a corporation increased by 11 hundredths percent of a percent. So write um, 11 hundredths of a percent as a decimal and as a fraction in simplest form. So as a decimal, we would just divide by 100. Okay. And then as a fraction, Eleven over ten thousand because this is the tenth, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths place. Okay, and eleven's prime, so we know we can't simplify that. All right. So moving to the next side. Uh, on the next page, we're looking at mixed numbers and decimals as percents. So this at the top is is just telling us to express a decimal as a percent. This is important information here. Uh, multiply by 100 and add a percent sign to express a mixed number as a percent. First, make it, um, it says, first, express the mixed number as an improper fraction. Okay, so that's what we want to look at. If we have one and one fourth as a percent, it says to first make it an improper fraction. So you see, do you remember how to make an improper fraction? So if you have one and one fourth. I don't know if you remember this, but you multiply four times one, and then you would add that one. And so that would that means that you would have five fourths. Four times one is four, plus one is five. Plus, if you're if you're looking at fourths, you know that one whole is four fourths. So, and then here you want to um, you could look at your relationship. And you could see, look what they did. They did four times 25 is 100. So five times 25 is 125, all right? And, and so one and one fourth is 125%. So let's apply that to these problems. So remember the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get our um, improper fraction. So two and nine tenths, that would be two times 10 would be 20, plus nine would be 29 tenths, right? Then we would wanna look at the relationship that it has with 100. We know that 10 times 10 is 100. 29 times 10 would be 290. So 290, over uh, 100 is 290%. Okay, this one, we wanna make the three and two fifths an improper fraction. So that's gonna be five times three, which would be 15 plus two, 15, 16, 17 fifths. Same thing, what's that relationship with five and 100? Well, we know that five times 20 is 100. So 17 times 20 is gonna give us our answer. Well, I know that 17 times two, if that's gonna be 14, carry the one, that's gonna be 340, isn't it? You see how I just brought down that zero? So that's gonna be 340%. Okay, easy, huh? Now, we've got one and 68 hundredths. They want us to write that as a percent. If you're going from a decimal to a percent, you're just multiplying by 100 and adding that percent sign. Here, we've got a small decimal. We're gonna change it to a percent. Same thing, we're multiplying by 100 and adding the percent sign, but our percent is a decimal percent, and that's okay. So on G, two and five tenths, we would have to move it for because remember we're going to a percent, two places to the right, and that would be 250%. Because you're multiplying by 100. Here you're dividing by 100, right? Oh, no, no, sorry. 
we're still doing percents, so we're still multiplying by 100. So we would go one, two, and we would have four tenths percent. On this one, we would go one, two. Oh, I didn't put that right there. Four tenths percent. And here we would have 16 hundredths percent. So this is what they're talking about by looking at percents that are less than 100% and, or less than 1% and greater than 100%. So let's look at this top. On the top of page 376, um, we're looking at number seven. Um, same thing. The cheetah is the fastest land mammal in the world. Um, and they're just wanting you to take this number and express it as a percent. So move it over two places to the right. You've got 200%. Um, here you've got the slowest land mammal is a sloth. And its speed is about 10, 10, 16, 10 thousandths. That of a cheetah expresses numbers a percent. So we're just going to go two places to the right. And we would have 16 hundredths of a percent. Okay. This would be um, a good lesson for you to use your foldable on and refer back to that. If you want to do the guided practice problems um, for extra practice for you, that's fine. But your assignment is, I want you to do page um, 377, and I want you to do um, problems uh, one through 16, okay? Um, and as we did last week, um, I'll have you put your, um, I'll have you put your answers in a quiz, in one of the quizzes. So, but what we're gonna do is a little bit different is I want you to watch the video, take your notes, and then at um, nine o'clock, if you're in my morning class, we'll get back together, make sure you don't have any questions. I'll help you with problems that if you have questions about stuff. And then in my afternoon class at uh, two o'clock, we'll do the same thing. We'll get back together after you've watched the video. Um, so we'll see if, if this way works better. Hopefully it will. And so be sure that when you're taking your notes and your book, that if you have questions as you're doing it, write down your questions so that we can, um, when we get back together, I can answer those for you. Okay. Thank you.